This tutorial will cover some additional basics to working in your Google SketchUp. We will see how to create those faces which are automatically created in SketchUp when we have edges that are connected and we must have at least those three edges to make a face. But first, we will see that we have in front of us that default person that is brought into the system. Looking at our tools and icons here, when we use the arrow, which is our select tool, we can go ahead and click on the object or this person, man or woman, depending on your version, that you want to have deleted. In selecting that person, we want to press delete on our keyboard to simply remove that image off our screen. In modeling, we can change the positioning of our views. And for this example, we will go to where it says camera. And in the camera, we will scroll down to where it says standard views. Selecting top gives us a plan view of our modeling window. And when we are drawing things, they will appear to be flat in this view. This line tool is our pencil. This is where we will begin to draw our lines. In selecting the line, I can left click and begin to draw a line by simply moving my mouse out. Notice that the line is red, so it is telling me that I'm on the red axis. Left clicking to end the line tool, I can begin to move my pencil in the opposite direction to create the next line. Now notice that we have our lines here, but when I begin to connect them, I now have a face that is created because I created the first edge, the second, and then the third. When these are joined together, we have that face that is connected. You can simply press escape or come over to another command to come out of the tool that you are using. If I take my select tool and I click inside of the face that was created, it will populate on my screen as shown here to show that this is selected. And may be asking what I would like to do with it, and we'll talk about things later of how to select items or objects and faces and begin to work them. For now, I want to look at another tool or command, which is our shapes. If I select my rectangle, I can pick anywhere on my screen, left click and drag my mouse to create my square or shape in any size that I want it to be, rectangle or square. Left clicking will drop my drawing into space and then I will see that I now have a face created on top of that square that I drew. If I look at the arrow down, I can see that there are other shapes that can be created. So if I went to my circle command, and I scroll out to pick another spot on my screen, left click, I can pull my circle to any size, left click to drop it into place. And again, I have a surface that now I have for my circle. If I was to orbit and come out of my top view, I will see that I've created these three shapes in my window on my interface screen.